I'm Doris Finch Watson, prefer to be called Dory, and I live in Banksville and have spent my entire life in the town of Northcastle. I'm also the town historian. I live in Banksville where my great, 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 great grandfather Samuel Banks settled uh, on property that is today the Middle Patton Rural Cemetery. And the other side of my family is the Finch family, and they came up in 1720 from the Greenwich area. And so my family's been for 11, 12, or 13 generations right in the area. It was lots and lots of trees in the area. It was uh, individual homes, churches as they were built in the early 1800s and the late 1700s were the main source of entertainment and religion. They held all sorts of gatherings, and it was just a very rural area with very few ways of communicating. It was horseback or buggies. The Historical Society was founded in 1971. The first meeting was over in East Middle Patent when a group of us just got together to decide if we wanted to really have an historical society because many of us had longed for one. It's preservation, it's teaching, it's recording. We want to record all of the historic places, things, and people that make up this wonderful town of Northcastle. I think it's important because we learn from the past to do things hopefully right in the future. 1908 was the year for the Briarcliff International Automobile Race. And the race started in Briarcliff, tore down through Mount Kisco. And when I say tore, in those days to go 35 and 40 miles an hour in 1908 was a tremendous speed. So they left Briarcliff, uh, went down across Bishop's Flat, down into Armonk. After they left Armonk, they, they followed what we call Route 22, down into Kensico, tore through Kensico, and back to Briarcliff again. But one of the car, the race cars, had an accident just south of where the Armonk United Methodist Church building stands today. And both the driver and the mechanic must have been blinded by dust from the, obviously, the dirt roads that they were uh, racing on and crashed into the brook, which is the brook that crosses the road coming down from Whippoorwill. And so Dr. Clark left his home, ran down to the accident, helped the men that were there to get the car off the body of the driver. And Dr. Clark took the two men back to his house to try to patch them up and get them returned to good health. In the meantime, it was all um, photographed and uh, the story written up by all of the newspapers including the New York Times. 